Hey YouTube, check out these piles of dirt. And these ain't no small piles. You know what that means? The basement has begun. Yesterday, which was July the 12th, they started on this basement and they started digging out the shape of the basement and the shape of the retaining walls. And uh, if you can see, right now we're about five feet deep. It's supposed to stick out of the ground about two feet, so I think they got a couple more feet to go. But uh, so what you're gonna see is when this is done, you can start seeing how it's gonna look. Is is it's gonna kind of just walk out right open to the uh, to the pond. It's gonna create a nice flat area uh, in between the house and the pond. Um, that's just gonna make it nice and open. Uh, I think it's gonna turn out great. What they're using is a Caterpillar 953D. Basically, it's kind of like a bulldozer, but it's got a, a bucket on the front. Obviously, it can uh, pick up a good scoop of dirt and lift it up pretty high. But uh, this, same, this piece of equipment seems to work out perfect uh, for digging out the uh, for digging out a walkout basement where they can just kind of come in from one side and just start scraping the earth off Today they showed up Again, they showed up with some more equipment so that they could dig the footers. So they dug the footers You know the the foundations that the basement walls sit on so they've dug those footers today they they got the gravel in um, and the plumbers came they put in uh, The plumbing for in the basement and they put in the perimeter drain system and the and the drainage tile and they've got that all put in today and yeah, It's just a good day. I mean they got a lot of work done. These guys know what they are doing The company I'm using they they do about 200 to 250 basements a year. So they they do this every day and these these guys are definitely good so this right here, this is the drain for the drainage tile. So this pipe goes under the ground, goes over there and in up that retaining wall and then goes all the way around the perimeter of, of the basement and under the floor of the basement and any moisture or water that gets around the basement or under the floor, it will all flow out that pipe over to here and then down into the pond. So everything in this basement is a free draining system we're high enough up here on this hill that the septic and the drainage tile everything can free drain away from the house and we don't have to have any sump pumps so now i'm standing from where i'll be walking out the basement and then this will be my view everything is pretty well flattened out then it slowly rounds around that wall and up um, this is just great we've gained a ton of level ground out here um, I love it. Well, the concrete company came back on a Friday. They let the footers sit for a week. And then they got these walls all formed up and they got them poured in one day. So they did that all on a Friday. So here's what the uh, walkout basement looks like formed up. So after the weekend, um, they let it, you know, cure over the weekend. And then they came back on Monday and they took the forms off of the walls and you can see that the walls have kind of a brick pattern to the way the form was and they also went ahead and put the more pea gravel in behind the wall uh, just for more drainage tile basically to help drain the moisture behind the wall and after the next day the plumbers came back and they tied in all they did all their stub ups so they already had the the plumbing in the ground so then they tied into it and they stubbed up so over here we have our bathroom and basically we have a pipe stubbed up I believe that's for a vent we have a pipe stubbed up over there for there it's underneath that a little bucket but uh, that's for the toilet and then that's for the sink and then what they have here they've got a culvert in the ground and what they're gonna do is they're gonna we're gonna pour right up to that culvert and then inside of that culvert there's another pipe and I'll be able to dig that gravel back out and there I can do my trap and my drain for my um, for my tub. So I'm gonna have a tub sitting here and then we got a space 
that's not going to get poured in concrete that I'll have enough room to be able to put my my uh, my trap and my overflow you know from my my uh, tub in in that area right there and over here they have put in this is the main drain and all my upstairs drains will come to this point and and drain into here and then this goes across it grabs these that bathroom over there and then the the septic goes out on that side and this is my mechanical room in this corner and then they've got two floor drains in the mechanical room and they go out and tie to the drainage tile which goes out and you know exits and drains toward the pond if you can see this kind of pale greenish kind of color here this is the waterproofing that they've sprayed on the basement wall um, the standard is a what they call a damp proofing and this is a step up you gotta pay a little extra for it and this is waterproofing and um, they're guaranteeing my basement for as long as I own it uh, that I won't have any water filtration into the basement but what they've done is they've sprayed this on and then they've taken some quarter inch uh, foam insulation and then they've stuck that to that went around did the entire wall and then they've they've just put more pea gravel in here to help to help drain any moisture from around the wall and then later we're going to come back and go ahead and fill this back up all the way with dirt well the basement is now complete they've came in they've poured the floor they power trout it got a nice smooth finish on it and uh, afterwards they they ended up saw cutting um, some lines in the concrete so they've packed up and left and it's all complete and ready for the builder so stay tuned uh, soon to have uh, more videos on the construction of our new cabin out here so thanks for watching